Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Today we're over on the very east side, the most easterly that you can really get without going into the water of the island because we want to start on the racetrack. It's a nice sort of flat area here and I've always wanted to build a racetrack in this city. I think it's going to be really cool. We're going to build an F1 style racetrack because we have F1 style cars. So it just sort of makes sense, doesn't it? We've got uh, red ones yellow ones green ones white ones and blue ones so we've got a bunch of different colors which is amazing uh to be able to make a really cool racetrack now racetracks are quite large and this is a flattish area but it's certainly not huge so i think what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to steal this mountain part here and flatten it out because i think it's it's going to be way it's wasted space anyway really when you think about it uh i'm never going to be able to build anything really on there so why why, why have it do you know what i mean why why have this part of the mountain we've got a big mountain at the back what's the point of having this little hill we also want to get rid of that bit of road there so we shall uh set grass and then we shall come up a block uh, just to get rid of the um, pathways as well uh, there'll be a road obviously that comes in uh, but I just don't think it's gonna be there exactly so we'll get rid of all that now this is gonna be the big test how easily is my computer going to be able to what is this Has this always been here <laughs> sick grass uh, how easily is my computer going to be able to handle removing this many blocks at one go? I don't know. I'm expecting maybe a lag spike. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but we want to try and give ourselves as much room as possible. Uh, we'll leave it with a bit of an abrupt sort of cutoff for the moment. Um, but what I'll do then later on is I'll uh, smooth it all off and make it look uh, better again. So let's do it here. Pause two. Oops. Pause two. How many is it? If I do copy, 405,000 blocks. Oh, I probably don't want to set air, do I? Let's cut. I, th I don't think I, I made that first point. We'll just do cut and see what happens first. cut it just does it it just it, it doesn't even really care that much yeah i did go one block too low so i ended up cutting out uh the bottom as well oh my i did not expect that i thought that that would have been like a 10 minute wait half a million blocks with like the smallest of spikes that's pretty crazy right so let me get this prepped for today and i shall be back i killed a cow oh all right, so I've smoothed off the mountain a little bit. It's not perfect. There's still some stone. There's still a couple of holes in there. Uh, but at least now I know sort of where it's going to come out to and what I need to do. I don't want to spend today doing that. I want to spend today planning out a bit of a racetrack. Uh, so we've got this nice large area now. We've sort of increased by another sort of 30% uh, or so uh, of space. And there's some very key aspects to a racetrack that I want to put into this to make the difference between... Uh, an ordinary Minecraft F1 track, very basic, and something that looks pretty cool. Now, obviously, the first important part is the track itself. Second most important part is the pits. The third part is the runoff areas, like little uh, chevron, you know, the, 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 the rumble strips, you know, red and white sort of chevrons on the side of the track. And then with some sand behind it as the runoffs. Details like tire walls and... Um, fences you know walls uh some of them sort of closer to the track to make it more dangerous at least we've got the hospital right next door so that's handy uh we need some stands uh we need some you know the, the pits with the buildings in it uh we want the start and finish lights uh, we want some, some some details like that some simple ones but then what i want to do is i want to have the car park for maybe i'll have the car park here or the car park for the traps for the track somewhere for the visitors and then i want a road that goes over the track a bridge that goes over the straightaway or something i would expect into the center of the track because that's where our pits are going to be our pits are always located in the center of the track 
uh, where we then have some car parks for lorries. Now, we did build a racetrack back on the Series 1 uh, city, back on Xbox, with that same thing. We had a bridge that went over the track into the middle where we had some lorries and stuff like that in there. And is that the same thing I want to do here? Just better. I just want to improve on our last design. So let's start off with a very basic line for where we want our track to be so let's do brush cylinder stone one that would be good for now that would be great for now so uh we're gonna want to have this i might have the car park over here that would probably make the most sense uh so we'll have the road comes over so we'll have the track go that way. That'll be the simplest way to do it. So this is the straight. Now I'm just going to use these little squares for the moment as a almost like a placeholder. And then we'll make the track wider later on. So we want this to come down here. I want this to go to a U-turn, which is the final corner. So that's going to be the last corner that you come around and then down the straightaway. That way we've got a nice bit of distance between to get the road to come in. Uh... And over the top. Or I might do it. I could do a tunnel. I could do both. I could do both. Uh, so if we want to have it sort of roughly there. We're going to want to extend this part of the track out. I don't mind extending the island out slightly. Uh, but we don't want to go too far. Because obviously the prison is within range there. But I don't mind extending it out a little bit. And we just want a little bit of a chicane, just some interesting corners. Nothing too crazy because remember we are actually going to be driving around this. And uh, the cars in this, in, in Flans, don't corner. Well, they do corner well. They don't brake that well. I think the F1 cars did though from our testing, didn't they? I don't know. We'll have to have a, a, have a go around in a moment and sort of have a go to see what it's like. So we have our first corner. We've got to have a sharp corner as your first corner. That just is is a must so where all the crashes happen and then we bring it out here I want to really utilize the space as much as possible have some stands in there I might have to go with a the tunnel then because we're gonna have the stands here aren't we and then really try and use up this space while also giving us as much room as possible on the inside so, ooh, that might be a little bit close. Undo 10. Something like that. That looks like a pretty good track layout. It's given us as much room on the inside as possible uh, in this area. Uh, and then let's think about it. So, car park over here for visitors to the track. A tunnel that goes down underneath where the stands are going to be underneath where the start finish line is going to be underneath where the pit lane is going to be so maybe maybe the tunnel's going to come down underground make a 90 degree turn while underground and then come up around here and out and then on the inside here we then have the sort of uh, internal car park for all of the uh, racers vehicles you know all of the, the transportation lobbies for the F1 cars from place to place okay that looks like a pretty good plan I think we have to see how it actually performs does it work is it too sharp is it too well obviously it's too thin at the moment but yeah these cars do break quite well the other flans mod doesn't and someone said if you hit space, it'll break quicker. You're wrong. You lied to me. So, we have the start-finish line. We come down the straightaway. Oh, that is fast. These cars do accelerate. Okay, that cut the corner a little bit tight there. But we are, we are shifting quite quickly. I'm not using any accelerator. I'm just sort of allowing it to flow. Woo! No, we went off the track. We're back on the track. All right, so I may... Maybe I need to either slow down more or make the track a little bit more wider. I mean, I like these corners. Where do I go? Ooh, not into the water. Okay. And then around the final corner. That's a nice final corner. That's a really nice turn. So what if we try actually slowing down now? So I slow down for this first corner. I cut it a little bit, but we should be good still. 
Okay, so we can we can actually break for corners in these vehicles. You can't in other ones. That's for sure. Oh, into the slow. That is a slow bit here. Oh, you got to really break for that. That's really cool. I can see some people crashing for that. Accelerate, break around the chicane. Hey, no, this is doable. Ooh, just as I say that. That's okay. That's actually working. Uh, I was actually accelerating and braking for the corner there. It was braking how I wanted. These cars actually work for that kind of thing. So let's try and work out a road width. Now, obviously, the tarmac is a great texture for uh, the the pathway. Let's try three. Not wide enough. Let's try five. I think that's somewhat wide enough. I think. I think that's a pretty good. Oh, I got rid of my wand. That's what it was. I thought, why didn't why didn't it do anything? If you imagine, we could fit definitely two cars in there, a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So that's the width then. Uh, let's undo, 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 because I want to get just. Oh, that's a smooth one. It's this one. There we go. I want to get the nice straight away down here. Now, what we want to do. Is actually undo a bunch is I want to utilize the inside as much as possible therefore we should really be putting the track as far over the left side over this side as we possibly can uh, to give us as much room as we can on the inside grass if you know what I mean uh, if we have it over there we're losing space on the inside which is going to be used for the pit lane and stuff like that so I really should maybe bring this over out here it gives us a quite a fair few blocks oops so we'll have this down here we're gonna paint this like a, a normal track and to the finish you guys really did not want to see me clicking around the route that I just clicked out so as you can see you can see some of the original uh, dots that we had uh, so you can see where I've, I've changed a little bit to try and give us more room on the inside and I think it's really worked. We've really got a nice decent amount of room uh, on this inside here Now we need a little bit of a pit lane. Uh, we might as well do it in the same texture, but in a smaller uh, Collection of blocks we don't want it being as wide as the track obviously a little bit thinner You still need it relatively wide to be able to get it down, uh, but you don't need it crazy wide So we'll have the pit lane come down here you sort of come off a little bit early in it. If I do something like that. Needs some perfecting there, but it's definitely uh, the idea that I was thinking of. And then we come out. Boom. Like that. Yeah, and then there's the, the exit lane. A little bit wide. Needs some teething, but that certainly uh, is, a, is a really good start. The pit buildings come behind here. Uh, we'll do something like... I'll just grab a block for the moment. This one's perfect, you see. And, uh, I mean, let's say, how many different colors have we got? You can have two of each color. And we've got uh, red, yellow, green, white, orange, blue. So there's six. So you could have, six is probably a good number. We could just have one of each colored car. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, and then we should be able to fit six pits in here. Well, if I can fit six in, I can fit 12 in. Because they'll share the same pit lane, won't they? So, if we imagine a car was in the middle there. You want it a little bit wider than that. I don't think we need five blocks. Well, we could go with five blocks, couldn't we? See, that would be four blocks. Definitely wide enough to get the pit car in. But then five blocks is just a comfortable amount. I think we'll go with five blocks. So, we'll have... Five blocks between there, down here. One, two, three, four, five, here. We'll just see what room we, we sort of have to work with. One, two, three, four, five, here. This is making the pits as small as I could possibly make them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. And then one more. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. That's about right. That's about right. I could shift the mover uh, a smidge. So we could, you know, so it's not quite as close to the front of the pit lane as possible uh, as it is. 
we just shift this over a few blocks cut and paste there we go just so it's got a little bit of a sort of inlay and then we've got six pit buildings uh, that they can park outside it's definitely each one is long enough to park the car outside for the tire changes and stuff like that look bang just pull them in right there still with enough room for a car to get past perfect yeah not bad at all uh oh. And then what we can do is we can grab our lines. I don't know which one it is. I never do know which one it is uh, for the uh, spots. Now, we want this about halfway, don't we? Like, how about halfway? So there's a, lot, a long straight before you cross the line, but a little bit of a run-up before you go around the first corner. So I'm going to go about here. Wrong one. So we'll have one, two, three. One, oops. One, two, three. Or I could come in by one block. I think maybe that would be better, right? So we have it like that. Now, uh, how long is a car? If I put this right here, that's, I would say, technically... I don't know if it goes from the front of the spoiler or the wheels. I think it goes from the front of the spoiler in F1 racing. Uh, so we'll say, like, there, roughly, uh, which is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight between each one. So if we make this four, one, two, three, four, which is halfway through, I'll do it here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And we want six of these, right? Well, 12, but. Looks like I'm going to get a bit of physics. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And one more then. Yeah, we'll stick with six then. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three. Okay. So there's our six uh, spots for each of our cars. I think that looks really good. Now we'll grab ourselves a start finish line now. We'll use white wool, I think. Uh, do I need the black for it? Probably not, right? And I obviously want something that is checkered because it just makes it more finish line. I think F1 doesn't have a checkered line. I think it has a straight line. Uh, but to me, that's more iconic. It, it just works better, right? Now, uh, we've been going for quite a while this episode, but I don't want to end it just yet. I want to get some idea of a uh, rumble strip. Now, we want to use red. I was just seeing if there was a red slab of any kind, but it doesn't look like there is. There's these ones. Mm, there's carpet. Carpet will work, actually, because carpet has a little raise on it, like a rumble strip does. So, it's probably our best bet, because it's got the white one for it as well. And we pretty much want to put these on every corner, nearly. At least the insides of all the corners. Uh, now, do we do a single checkered pattern? Like this. To go around the inside. That works. That looks fine. Don't think it's quite big enough though, so I think the better plan would be to do two by twos. I think it makes them a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit more noticeable, and we just sort of put them in as square as you can. Something like that. I don't mind that too much. I think that should be that, though. I like that, that, that. 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 I think I like that the best. And then... I don't know how real far you want to come. You don't want to come in too far, do you? So we have like a rumble uh, like that. We actually has a little bit of an incline as well. And then we want a bunch of sand... Uh, after it so we want something like I could do this just with a one couldn't I for the moment 
Uh, you don't want it to go like all the way around the track. You don't want it to have like sand everywhere. You just want it sort of, well, mostly on the outside, in fact, don't you? You don't really want sand on the inside. So for uh, a rough, for a rough idea for the minute, we'll just do a section like this. Replace grass with sand. And that gives us a little bit of, a, of an idea. Let's turn this. Replace stone with grass. Replace, oh no, no, no. And here. And then go back to that, just fill in those holes. Just, it gives me an idea, a pretty confident idea on how, if I'm going to like it or not. Because we have to remember, grass with sand, we need to keep as much room on the inside as we possibly can. But that's certainly going to work as a runoff area, as long as we sort of round off uh, the back here. Uh, with some tire walls and stuff like that. We can easily do that with coal blocks and stuff. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We've got an awful lot planned. It's going to start coming together really, really quickly now. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And if you want, I'm going to just go around a couple of laps just to see uh, how it goes. Now, I really, I might go into the files, actually. Uh, by the way, that's the end of the episode, so you guys can leave now if you don't want to watch anymore. Uh, but uh, I might really try and go into the files and see if I can fix the wheels on the F1 cars because they actually, because of my hand, no, um, uh, because they've got this sort of missing chunk which drives me insane. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's, it's quite annoying. Ugh. So that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad, I was talking, let's do a silent lap. As fast as possible. I crashed. Cut the corners, hit the apexes. That's just called cutting the corners. That's called, called cheating, really. I wasn't hitting the apexes. I was just, like, cutting off a part of the track. Oh, we went into the pits. And back out of the pits. Hey, that works. All right, anyway.